Unit 4, questions 14 and 15. Okay, so they give a bunch of rules for uh, oxidation reduction uh, reactions. And these aren't the normal rules that you uh, would find in the textbooks. But nonetheless, um, they're trying to get you to work within it. And then uh, the first question, 14, um, by calculating the numbers, determine which one is a redox reaction. Well, in looking at the first um, uh, re reaction, we have uh, two hydrogen. So we have hydrogen, and, um, and its oxidation uh, number would be zero because it is a elemental form. So that's, uh, we can see hydrogen as H2 in nature. So um, that is um, uh, written like that uh, as uh, pure substance. And then there's uh, carbon monoxide. And uh, this is a little bit, uh, I know, you know, you might have looked at this and thought it was a rather simple thing, but it isn't as simple as you thought. First, um, um, carbon monoxide is, uh, uh, looks like this. It's not what you're used to seeing, is it? Because uh, you're probably very familiar and comfortable seeing this. Uh, carbon dioxide and knowing uh, um, and having seen carbon with oxygen with double bonds many times extra lone pair of electrons uh, all of that but in the end you know this is fulfilling the octet rule two four six eight um, electrons around this oxygen this carb remember every bond is an electron pair the octet rule of course is eight electrons uh, um, around the atom and here carbon has two four six eight so it's very happy now this is a little uh, more complex because uh, yes they both have eight electrons but it's the way that they got this eight electrons is a bit different watch this is carbon electron pair here so that's two so we have two four six here eight electrons two four six eight electrons so they both have the octet however carbon contributes four electrons. Now watch, this is carbon. As you know, because carbon can bond four different times to four different substituents, very important uh, aspect to organic chemistry. So here, carbon, we have an electron pair here. We have an electron pair in this bond. But wait, oxygen, which can contribute six electrons, has two here, one here, one there, that's four electrons, and completely contributes this bond. Carbon does nothing to contribute in this bond, the third bond in this triple bond. It's completely coming from oxygen. This is called a coordinate covalent bond. So these are regular covalent bonds here, lone pair of electrons, and one coordinate covalent bond. So even though Acer didn't tell you anything about the rules about this, because all they said is that if you have a covalent bond with an electronegative atom, then that would, um, uh, let me look at their rule. They said uh, each bond to an atom that is more electronegative than carbon increases the oxidation number by one. So you would think that this would increase the oxidation number of carbon by three because one of their other rules, number five, is a multiple bond has a multiple effect. However, because this bond is completely provided by oxygen, it is, must be ignored even, uh, with those rules. And so carbon actually has, uh, in carbon monoxide, according to those rules, would be plus two. And therefore, uh, the oxygen would be a minus two. Of course, this is uh, neutral. And then we look at uh, CH3, OH, um, uh, yes, OH. And then uh, again, you, you apply their rules if you want. <laughs> if you want to apply their rules, you would, uh, you would say that uh, you have um, plus one here for the uh, uh, hydrogen, and then uh, you would have the carbon. The hydrogen would, would have to be uh, plus three because you have three hydrogens, so this would be plus three okay? because they're less uh, electronegative. So we've done uh, the easy part. And now um, we have plus three, we have carbon here. Oxygen is more electronegative. Um, we will have uh, minus two uh, for the carbon uh, and um, another minus two for the oxygen. And now that way we have 
plus 4 and minus 4 and everything's neutral and we see that going from plus 2 to minus 2 um, the, here we have a, a gain of electrons and that means reduction because uh, you might remember Leo is a jerk uh, Leo is a jerk and um, that is uh, a mnemonic that stands for loss electrons oxidation is the anode gain electrons reduction at the cathode so here we have a gain of electrons because we were plus two adding electrons which are negative bringing us to minus two so that's a gain of electrons that's reduction and um, if this was an electrochemical cell, which is it absolutely is not, <laughs> then uh, that would be occurring at, at the uh, cathode. But uh, just uh, a helpful little mnemonic. Now hydrogen here, hydrogen is doing the reducing. Because CO is reduced, hydrogen is going from H2, uh, 0 to plus 1, so it's losing electrons being oxidized because it's going it's becoming positive losing electron it is being oxidized so because hydrogen reduces CO we call hydrogen the reducing agent the reducing agent is always oxidized CO would be the oxidizing agent and it is reduced and that's how it always goes. And the Acer likes to use that kind of language because they know it, uh, it can confuse um, some people. So, um, clearly, this is the one that undergoes redox. Uh, if you go through B, C, and D, uh, you'll see that, uh, that in B, it goes from plus 2 to uh, plus 2. I don't know why you would do it, because this clearly has a, a change in electrons from one side to the other. And then uh, in answer choice C, it does the same thing, going from plus 2 to plus 2. And answer choice D goes from minus 2 um, to minus 2. So uh, we're going to move on to the uh, next question, the last question in this unit. According to the rules, the oxidation number of carbon atom that has only one carbon atom bonded. So, so this is uh, the setup. We have carbon with one carbon bonded to it, and besides that, it has other stuff. Who knows what? It's got X, it's got Y, it's got Z. But it's, um, it has three other things, but it has one carbon bonded to it. So according to the rules, the oxidation number of a carbon atom that has that uh, could be, and then they have different possibilities. So first, according to uh, the rule, uh, the, the first rule is that... Um, Oh, the second rule is and that is that if a carbon is bonded to a carbon this contributes nothing so uh, the bond that's uh, over here I'll say uh, uh, would be zero so there's it contributes nothing to the carbon that's according to the rule now we have to look at these ones X Y and Z so what can they be well the next rules uh, rules three and four which on my uh, booklet um, uh, Acer put uh, the Roman numeral two twice um, but anyway I will ignore that so uh, for for rules three and four um, it's if it's electronegative it increases by one if it's electropositive um, it uh, it goes it goes down by one so, but anyway the point is that it can go up or, or down by one so this can go plus or minus one and uh, this one is plus or minus one and this one is plus or minus one the key point is they can never be zero only if it's bonded to carbon according to Acer's rules um, can it be zero so here it's plus or minus one plus or minus one plus or minus one so that means if they're all plus one if they're all plus one we have plus three if one is negative the other is plus the other two are plus, then we have um, plus one. If two are negative and one are plus, we have minus one. And if all three are negative, we have minus three. So here are the uh, three uh, possibilities. I'm sorry I, I went off camera. It's just uh, uh, plus three, uh, plus one, and uh, minus one and minus three. And those are the only possibilities that you can have. So then you look for the rule and then it says any odd integer from plus three to minus three, odd integer. And these are all 
odd integers. And so it would be answer C. And uh, if you want to read about oxidation numbers in a way so that you wouldn't get m mixed up uh, with this because you would know the real rules, you know, and the uh, real rules make it much faster. Uh, you can go to chem uh, 1.6 because using the real rules you would have said right away that this is minus 2 You would have said right away that this is plus 1 and this is plus 3 and that's minus 2 um, You would have done that faster and you would have said right away that this is minus 2 and um, Because oxygen is minus 2 in bonds and this is a plus 2 and of course you would recognize the elemental form as 0